I also go I also go bowling, crown green bowling, which isn't quite as active as I like to do, but it gets me out and it's more of the social social thing I like to do. So I've always been interested in bowling when I watch it on TV. But it's very interesting how they managed to curl the ball around. So I thought when somebody mentioned that there was a team getting together doing that, I thought, oh, I'll give it a go. So we get to get together once a week. Try that. I think honestly, the walk, the walk there and back was the sort of main exercise because it's not very active. But <laughs> no, it's it's nice. It's nice, and everyone there's lots of lots of guide dogs tied up on the side watching us as we're bowling. We often go for coffee afterwards, and we have lots of lots of lovely volunteers to help, and they stand by the jack to let us know where it is so that we can aim <laughs> aim for the jack. They've got high visibility jackets. Yes. Yes, they're really good. And they help with a lot of other, all our activities. They, well, one or two of them do all of them with us, which is lovely. One of, one of the team, Howell, he, he actually announced it at something else we do, which is a guide dog coffee morning. We, it's held a once a month. We get together guide dog owners and puppy walkers, which is lovely, especially when they've got puppies around. Anyone to do with guide dogs, they can come and get coffee and all meet together. And he made announcements that they're starting up a club because he he and a few others actually they've done bowling all through their lives they've had connections with bowling people so they they're, they're the better bowlers I've never bowled before <laughs> in my life I thought I'd give it a go 